everybody for being here this morning. I feel that Fort Lauderdale has lost its vision. We could take a look as far as what has been happening around us. And what I believe is we need to run the city like a business. If we take a look at any of our businesses right now, we sometimes see when decisions are made. If this was my business, would I have made that same decision? If this was my business, would I have done some of that spending that just didn't seem to make sense? We have to be able to look at what we're spending and what we're spending for. We need to be able to grow. And I think one of the areas we really need to grow is in economic development. We have a one-person economic development department, and what that department is doing is keeping statistics, but it is not working with any of the private sectors. We have the Broward Alliance, whose goal is to be able to bring in major businesses. We're not working with them. We have the Chamber of Commerce, which is also cultivating businesses here. The city is not working with them. We have businesses that are being targeted, specifically in the marine industry, in the tourism industry, in fact, in the marine industry, even small manufacturing facilities. We have areas in North Carolina saying, come on up here to North Carolina. We're going to give you a tax abatement. We're going to work with the developers of the complex, and we're going to give you discounted rent. In addition to that, we're going to work with community colleges. We're going to give you an intern program, which is going to keep your rate down, and you're going to train our workforce here. All this is being done, and businesses are leaving. And how does that affect us? In District 2 alone, we have more than 5,000 people that have applied for unemployment this past year. 5,000 people. What is that costing us in our tax base? We take a look at the foreclosures. Foreclosures are up. The tax base is coming down. How are we going to affect this? What we need to do is we need to be more aggressive with economic development, not let things happen to us, but actually make things happen and move it forward. And that's what I propose. We have private industry that wants to be involved in this. Let's stop pretending that we're going to do this all ourselves. And let's include the private industry that wants to help. That's the only way we're going to be able to do it, because we don't have the budget otherwise. Also, we have spoken about crime. We used to have something called community policing. And in community policing, we had the police officers that walked the beat. They knew the neighborhoods, they knew the people in the neighborhoods, they knew who was supposed to be there, who was not supposed to be there. We've taken that away.